Right, this is an IM PTZ16. I'm going to show you how to change the cowling. Now this is the base of the unit. We have three screws, take the base off. One, two and three. Do you want to go in on that Rich and just show him what the screws look like? So taking the screws out now. I use a little flower pot to keep the screws intact. One, two, three. Now those screws are out. Gently pull on the cable gland to pull the base of the unit out and you'll see the wiring loom and loomed around the edge of the base of the unit. Let's quick get a shot of that, how it should look. Uh, first of all, we need to take this, pull this wire out of the connector. It comes out very easily and away from the uh, cable tidy. So it's about one. Yep, so you've got that connector there, which will only go in one way because you've got your uh, your lugs on the bottom and it will just push in and pull out very easy. Uh, the first thing you need to do is take the cable tidy off with these two black screws. You getting that Rich? Yep. So they just unscrew again. These are just machine screws. And into the next little pot, keep the bolts in order. And that just comes off like that and it reveals the, the gear and the moving parts. Next thing we need to take off would be the board. Again, three self-tapping screws. There's one there, one there, and one there. Can you get that? So I'm take these off. And you'll see the sensor hole. And so you move the board very slightly around. See the sensor hole going around there? You need to get the sensor in between there and it just pulls slightly through there. Making sure you're not going to pull any cables out until you need to. And you'll see the underside of the board. See the two connectors. Take them, just pull them out. Put the board to one side. This wiring loom comes through the metal hole that goes away and you're left with that. <coughs> First of all the uh, the belt, drive belt needs to come off, that just gets edged off around the gear. Pull it off, there's your belt. Uh, you might need to get a pair of long nose pliers to take the locking ring off of the gear, which is very easy. Just loosen it with your pliers and it winds off. And then the gear is the same, you can, this can be done by hand. A little bit of force and it will, be, it will give. Let me just go. And the base of the unit just gets lifted off. Like that, making sure you don't catch the cable. And there's the base. I can get it put to one side. Now we're left with the camera part and cowling. The cowling cable tidy is held on by four screws again. These are self-tapping screws. Like that. Pull it Again, that cable tidy will just pull out and they can be put to one side. So we're left with the cowling and camera unit. This cowling has, I don't know if you can get in there Rich, you see the four screws in there? It's a bit dark. Two that side and two exactly the same on the other side. These are four self tappers and they need to be undone for, to release the cowling. This is best done with a magnetic screwdriver because otherwise you find it hard to get the screws out. Not this out. <clears throat> 
is all the camera does. Slight squeeze on the sides, make it an oval shape, let the camera release a bit easier. And there's your cowling, straight out. So we put that to one side, we get the new one, and just reverse the process. Squeeze on both sides, camera through. There's no orientation on this, you can go any way at once. Just let it sit in place. Once it sits in place, you, you can basically see that it's sitting. If it's not right, it will be twisted and you don't need to force it, it should go. See, obviously, that's not right. That's not right. That's right. Okay. Back in the foam holder. And then this is where the flower pot arrangement comes in handy because you just work backwards again on the screws. So again, magnetic screwdriver. Holes in the two sides of the cowling. Mm -hmm. Just fixing the cowling to the camera head. One, two. How long have we got left? All of what? Video time. Plenty of time. Six to five minutes. No, no that's loads. There's about 24 minutes on there. Yeah. Because so, it's a new cowling, you might find the, heart, the screws are harder than they were to release them because you're Again, tapping the screws into the new plastic. Cable tidy around there. Making sure you're not going to pinch any cables. Uh, you've got two lugs on these. You've got a circular part in the middle of the cable tie and you've got two lugs. One is for the cable entry and one is for the lug on the camera head. And there's the cable entry, there's the lug. Making sure in, that will be the one, wrong way round, you'd need to put it that side with the counter sunk in for the screws. So you offer it up and then you just quite simply turn so you see the, the lug and the cable coming through and you've got that right. Using the four self-tapping countersunk screws. Mm -hmm. That's done. <clears throat> Let's get the base of the unit again. Obviously, that will go face side down. Putting the cable entry through, cable through, and throwing it down onto the slip rings. And then that's good. Tightening down with the gear. Just by screwing on. And then just hand tight that, make sure that will spin freely, and then tighten up with a locking ring. And then again, tighten them with your long nose pliers. Just to be pretty tight, but always making sure that the box the pace will the, the base of the camera can spin with that locked in place. Next thing we need is the belt needs to be put over the motor drive first. Best technique is to put it over one side of the gear and then just turn it around and it finds itself on the gear. 
Um, next part, get the board back. It'll be the connector side down, two connector side capacitors down into the base of the camera. Again, lining up the, the sensor hole. First you're going to need to put cable through. Yeah. Well done, Rich. As Rich said, you need to mount the cable through the cable tidy hole. So then that is just sitting nicely like that, ready for the board. Then you grab the board. Pretty easy. You've got your locating lugs on the motor wire section loom and you've got your video and power all the way up to the camera on that section. You can't get it the wrong way around because it may only go in one way. And then bring in the board, offering up and then turning around so the sensor can sit through the gearing. Just looming the cable so they're not going to get caught or nothing. Spin it around. Three self tapping screws for the board. And done. Bring in the cable tidy into play. Those over there. If you want to get a close up on the machined holes, you're lining up the holes with them holes and there and there so then that fits over the gear and the belt keeps it all neat and tidy. And you're using the two machined, the two I think they are screws. Oops, like that. Once the cable ties are in place, put the cables back into the connector. Again, only goes one way, and just loom the wires. Into there, keeping it tidy. And then looming, trying to loom this big cable around the back of the base of the unit so it lines up with this plate with this so the plate lines up with that with that so you can have access to it without taking the base off and then once that's sort of lined up you can line up with the fixing points and there's your same three self tapping screws That's it. One cowling change on the PTZ. Snort it.